Hi, David Myrovitz here from Trinov Audio. So we're going to continue our fine tuning and have a look at the target curves. So in the menu here, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to optimize the settings and target curve. Now you can see by default, our target curve is set to flat. You know, it's always a good place to start from to have a listen to a flat target curve. It's not going to be over, overly pleasing. It's going to be probably a bit bright and not have a lot of uh, personality in the bass, shall we say. But then from there, you've at least got a reference that you can move forward and you can actually uh, you know, design a target curve that suits your listening environment. Let me show you how to just quickly draw in a target curve. So a very popular option is to put a bump in the bass, which I'm going to do here. OK, so a little bump in the bass there. Right. And then moving up the frequency range, we tend to leave it flat in the middle. But again, this depends on the types of speakers that you're using. You can uh, choose to add more or less as you want. There's then a very popular um, configuration you can do in the in the two to five K range, which is known as the BBC dip. So you can take a nice bit of frequency out at this point. What that really does is reduce its harshness. The, the bones in the human ear are very sensitive around this sort of two to three K mark. Um, so quite often reducing this level a little bit will actually give you a bit less uh, fatigue in your listening experience. And then in the high frequencies, we can do a nice steady roll off. OK, just so those high frequencies aren't too harsh. You can then apply that target curve. It will change all the filters and process accordingly. You could do multiple target curves and save them into different presets if you want to do different listening modes for music, for movies. And then there are a lot of kind of industry standard target curves, something like the X curve, if you wanted to put that in into another setting, another preset, all of its own. OK, so that is how to use the target curve setting. Thank you for watching.